Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather as one family around the table of the Lord, and we beg for the grace that we may truly see Jesus as the true sign in our lives. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the free-born woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally, the son of the free-born through a promise. Now this is an allegory. These women represent two covenants, one from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is free-born, and she is our mother, for it is written, Rejoice, you barren one, who bore no children. Break forth and shout, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the, are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children not of the slave woman, but of the free-born woman. For freedom Christ set us free, so stand firm, and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the downhill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Please stand. Alleluia. Today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became assigned to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, 
the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the, to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We cannot deny the fact that we are a people looking for signs. Bahagi ng buhay natin yung mga tanda. Kahit saan man tayo magpunta, saan tayo magtungo, we will always see signs. The signal, the, the, the traffic light is a sign. We look for signs if we want to go to the washroom. Hinahanap natin yung mga simbolo kung saan tayo ituturo kung gusto natin pumunta ng banyo. O di kaya kung meron tayong pupuntahan, tinitingnan natin yung mga signs kung saan tayo ituturo yung nais nating puntahan. Signs are very, very, are very much helpful for us. But if we look at our gospel, the words of Jesus might sound disturbing. That those who seek a sign is an evil generation. But we must also understand what kind of sign is the people looking for. Ano ba yung hinahanap nilang tanda? Madalas, may mga pagkakataon din na naghahanap din tayo ng tanda sa ating buhay. Lord, ito na po ba yung sign? Ito na po ba yung sign na hinihintay ko? Siya na po ba yung sign na inaabangan ko? We look for signs to confirm what we are asking for. We are asking for signs to confirm the decision that we want to make. But if we look into our gospel, the signs that the people were asking the signs that the people were seeking were extraordinary signs to prove that Jesus is really there. To prove that God exists. To prove that the, the, that the preaching of Jesus is something that is genuine. Kaya, yun yung hinihingi nilang tanda. But Jesus was telling them, there is something greater than what you are asking for. If the people of Nineveh repented with the preaching of Jonah, someone is greater than here. At sino yon? Si Jesus mismo. It is Jesus himself who is the sign that they are looking for. But they have turned a blind eye to that sign who is already standing in front of them. And maybe that is also the challenge that we should also look for. That is also the challenge that we should also put into ourselves. What kind of sign are we looking for? Because hopefully, those signs that we are looking for will ultimately point to Jesus. Kung naghihintay tayo ng mga sign kung siya na nga ba, kung naghihintay tayo ng sign na tama ba yung desisyon ko, kung naghihintay tayo ng sign na ito nga ba yung pupuntahan ko, ito ba nga yung gagawin ko, siguro, ang unang tanong na pwede natin gawin ay makikita ko ba ang si Jesus? Makikita ko ba ang Diyos dun sa desisyon ko, dun sa gagawin ko, dun sa pipiliin ko? And the moment that we have found Jesus, the moment that we have found God in those actions, in those decisions that we will make, then that is already enough sign for us that we are making the right decisions, that we are making the right choices that we are choosing the will of God for ourselves. Let us make for this grace to look for the ultimate sign, to look for Jesus, so that we ourselves can, can always follow the will of God because we won't look for any extraordinary sign, but the sign of Jesus, the sign that it is Jesus who is the, the sign that Jesus will give to us so that we can be assured that it is him who is that it is him whom we are following
Please stand. We turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and to respond firmly to Christ's call for repentance. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the hearts of all men and women may be converted to the Lord who calls the world to repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we may accept the full message of the gospel, including those sayings that speak of trouble and the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That like the citizens of Nineveh, we may renounce our evil ways and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the sick and the elderly may find security and love from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your Son. As from all eternity you will this resurrection, associate us with him forever. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our, our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty, most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God.
Maria, Ina na awa. Well 